Uh, I'm, I'm on my way to go to a harvest. Um, this is not a hunt. I'm going out to this place called Rome Ranch. Um, Rome Ranch, part of Force of Nature. We have uh, a buffalo that is old, that is kind of getting angry and no longer breeding. And um, he has about a thousand pounds of meat on him. So Rome Ranch, they are doing a pretty incredible thing. They're part of this uh, man, regenerative agriculture, re regenerative farming. Um, every, everybody has these these slogans, these ad words, these marketing ploys, where they use things like organic or grass-fed or free range. And I'll tell you what, it does not mean what you think it means. If you go to any of these massive farms and you, um, you're like, you're telling me that that thing in that little 10 by 10 box is free range or grass-fed because you take it out to like a, a 20 by 20 pasture for seven seconds on its way to get slaughtered, that, that doesn't count. You know, um, real organic, real grass fed, real free range, like that's something that just moves. It eats what it wants to eat, it's hanging out with its, its herd. So the goal here is to kill this buffalo and that's why they're calling me in the fastest and most humane way possible. Um, that is, it's sitting there, you know, hanging out with all the cows and all its buddy bulls, you know, like, I don't know what kind of a sound, I can't imitate a buffalo. It's like, <coughs> you know, let's just pretend it was a cow. So it'd be like, they're just hanging out. And then all of a sudden, goes down to take a bite of grass. <laughs> and darkness. That's the goal. The goal is, um, it's present. It's existing, and then, without it ever knowing why, it's dead. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I have the perfect tools for that. I'm gonna be shooting a Nostler um, 33, and that thing is a 225 grain bullet that has an amount of energy that I don't care what it hits. It is going to do exactly what it's intended to do, which is safely, quickly, and humanely kill it. Then I gotta go to work. I gotta clean, uh, we gotta cape, we gotta, um, dress and then get ready for processing the meat. So this is a lot of work. And um, I think people have a disconnect from what their food looks like, how they get their food, where they get the food, what the, what the process looks like. Um, man, I'm not gonna throw stones at vegetarians because if you went to a slaughterhouse and you see what happens with, with cows, um, man, I may not eat meat again. All of, all of the meat in my freezers, man, I saw those things in life. I saw them walking beautifully, majestically, and I know how it died, quick and painless. I know what happened to that meat. I know where it went. I know whose hands touched it. And then I feed my family with it. This meat is not just gonna feed my family. There's enough meat that's gonna be able to feed. I mean, this is gonna be a thousand pound animal after we cape it and hang it. So, you know, we're uh, a thousand pounds of meat. That, that's, that's food for months for many people. And uh, it's gonna be a long day. Now we gotta go do the work.